Welcome back, everyone. Let's carry on. Now we talk to you guys about banking statements. Okay. So, bank statements are issued when we have bank accounts. All right. So, Pansula is a dance company. The company has a bank account at Siabonga Bank. The bank statement dates run from the 15th of the month to the 14th of the next month. Ah, we've got to pay attention there. Below is a part of Pantula's bank statement for a certain period in 2013. There we go. Let's just highlight those two. So, bank fees are reflected on the day of the transaction, but deducted at the end of the month. All right, so we total all that at the end. Okay, here's the first question. Write down Pantula's bank balance on 1904-2013. So, here's the date, 19th of the 4th, the bank balance, there it is, 28,955 rand, 47 cents, sorry, there you go. Nice work. Let's move along. The second question, determine the total amount deposited into Pantula's account from the 19th of the 4th to the 2nd of the 5th. So, if we look at this, we're adding all these amounts from the 19th of the 4th, all right, where you have deposits. So here we go, the credits column, there's one, there's one, there's one, and there's the last one. All right, and again that happened on the last day within our range. And we get 5,949 rand, 10 cents. Aha, let's move along. Calculate the missing values of A and B. B. So there's A first. All right. A. Now, if you look at this, your balance is basically from the previous time here 31,194.57. A debit gets taken away, and we get 30,344.57. There's B right at the bottom. Okay. And if you look at B, B is the debits. So what have we done? We've taken this amount, all right, of 33,798 Rand 11, the previous amount, and we've taken away this amount, 33,540 Rand 64. So we know that B's amount is 257 Rand 47 cents. Ooh, there's calculations in this one. All right, the fourth one. Fourth question. On the 21st of the 4th, all right, um, the 21st of the 4th, there it is. Okay, the service fee for depositing the amount of 22,000, this amount, 2,239.10 was 31.74. Determine the service fee as a percentage of the deposited amount. So, as a percentage, we know we've got a times by 100. Line it up as our fraction, all right, and that gives me 1,42%. Nice work. All right, now, municipal statements. Municipal statements are issued to homeowners or businesses who use water and electricity. All right. Mr. V. Manga used an average of 23 kiloliters of water for the month of June. Use the given water char tariff charges to determine the total amount payable uh, for water. So, here's our tariff table. Okay, let's see what I've done. I've said for the first six kiloliters you are charged 11,917550. For the next four you are charged 12,151250. And then we get three. Now, where does that three come from? All right, here's what we have. We've got 13 kiloliters. All right. We've got to take away the total of six that we used. All right. And then we get seven kiloliters. Then we took away four. And what are we left with? Three kiloliters. And that's where we got those three from. Nice work. Once you do that, you plug it all into your calculator and get our answer. Nice work. Let's carry on. Ooh, <laughs> looks like I worked this out already. 
There we go. 13 kiloliters minus the six gives us seven kiloliters left over, three kiloliters left over, and finally, we've charged them. All right, there we go. Mr. V. Manga used an average of 13 kiloliters of water for the month of June. Use the given water charges to determine the total amount charged. All right, so here, again, you use 13 kiloliters, so we need to charge for the first six. Then we are left with seven kiloliters. That's seven kiloliters. Let's get a nice block there. Okay, take away the four, three kiloliters left over, and finally, no kiloliters. All right, same calculation. Again, there's the six, there's the four, there's the three, and we get a total of 170 rand. 74 cents. Thanks everyone for listening to me today. Hope you guys learned something. We'll chat to you guys again. Take care. Goodbye.